What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me video, a little more vlog style and chit chatty. I'm so excited because I'm going to be showing you guys from literally step zero to 100. <laughs> It is 8 p.m. right now. My hair is very greasy, so I'm about to jump into the shower. Tonight we're gonna treat ourselves and I'm really gonna focus on my scalp. If you are trying to grow your hair or just maintain the health of your hair, then it's really important to focus on your scalp because that's where it starts. That's where your hair grows. You gotta exfoliate that stuff and like keep the circulation going. Before I actually shampoo and condition my hair, I'm going to be using an exfoliating scrub. This is the Orbe Serene Scalp Exfoliating Scrub. Rub. Orbe recently came out with two additions for their Serene Scalp collection. It's this guy and a spray that we'll use afterwards. I'm gonna hop in the shower, get my hair wet, and just start applying this into my roots and really exfoliating. So this guy is a blend of physical and chemical exfoliants that gently remove dead skin, oil, dirt, and product buildup on the scalp. It's gonna cleanse and detoxify the pores to purify the scalp soothing it, balancing it, and energizing it. It's gonna hydrate and really soften your hair as well. I'm just gonna brush through my hair. This is important, thickening treatment spray. Now that my hair is clean and damp, we're going to directly mist this onto my scalp. What this is gonna do is instantly plump your hair at the root while creating denser looking strands over time. It promotes fuller, thicker, healthier hair. I'm just gonna sort of lift hair. By doing this, we are adding volume, body, and density to our hair. It's also strengthening your hair at the follicle to help reduce hair fall, which is caused by breakage. Provides antioxidant protection, fragrance-free, has awesome key ingredients that will help benefit your hair. All of that is on their website. If you guys want to try out their products or any others from their Serene Scalp collection, I will have the links down below. You can also just go to orbe.com. putting headband in my hair. All that I have on my face right now is a serum to brighten my face and illuminate, as well as a daily protecting sunscreen. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with a primer. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're gonna keep it simple. I've been using a new foundation. Lately, I've been into really just keeping my face makeup super light. I think because it's so hot in LA right now, I just don't really like having so much caked on makeup, you know? I've been into letting the color of my face and random little spots kind of show through. I'm just not really into having like a perfect canvas because I feel like that's when you can really tell you have a lot of makeup on. I feel like I'm totally going against what I just said, but I am going to use just a little bit of concealer. I am scraping off most of it from the applicator and just sort of dotting it around the eyes a little bit just to brighten up the under eye circles. I kind of use this more as like a highlighter almost. This will all still blend in pretty light. It's just lifting this area right here. I feel like it's like bringing my cheekbone up just by adding a lighter concealer. Look at how cute my case is, guys. Thumbs up if you know exactly what this is. I used to have all of her notebooks. To contour my face, I'm actually just going to use a darker foundation stick. I'm gonna go in very lightly, just about that much. Yes. Definitely put more on this side, so we're gonna really Blend that out. The cutest text message. First of all, sick. I feel like I'm showing you guys all my tech gadgets, but I got this little Apple Watch band and I love it. Cutest text message from Phineas's mom in a group chat with Phineas and I. Can you both go to the orthodontist tomorrow at 1020? I feel like my teeth moved within the last few years. Every time I watch old vlogs from when I first moved out to LA, which was like 2014, I swear my teeth were straighter. First of all, I think I have an overbite. <laughs> So weird posing. And I also feel like everything shifted this way. I can tell by this gap right here. On this side, we don't have it. See? 
Let me know if you guys see what I'm seeing, but I think I want to get Invisalign and just fix that because I notice it every single time I'm editing footage or when I look at photos. I feel like it's such a small problem that I would be able to fix it in like six months or something super short. That's what's going on in my world right now is uh, wanting to get Invisalign. I'm gonna add the smallest amount to my temples and the hairline on my forehead. So I'm actually just going to rub this foundation on my sponge and pat it in. Oh. The dentist is calling. One sec. <laughs> and just like that, we're going to the dentist tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, for blush, I'm going to use a cream blush stick. Warm up the product on the back of my hand so that I'm not directly putting it on my face because it's very pigmented. And I'm just gonna use the end of my sponge and just start patting that on my cheek. I wanna look like I'm blushing. Great, let's see what happens if I put some of this on my lips. Here we go, a multi-use product. Call me crazy, but I think I might put some on my lid as well. A very small amount, don't worry. Just a little bit, pat it right in the center. I've been doing this lately and I just feel like it really, it looks natural because it matches your blush. So it just sort of feels like your face has color. Classic translucent powder. I so wish I was one of those girls that could just put on cream products and head out the door. My face just gets so greasy when I have product on it. And so I, I can't do that. I can't not set my face. This palette that I've been using as a mirror this whole time, light gold champagne highlighter and just add a little tiny amount to my face. Just gonna pat that on. On the nose of the lips. I'm gonna go under the eyebrows a little bit. We're gonna fill in the eyebrows. I'm just using a dark brown powder. The same product I've been using for what feels like my entire life. <laughs> Sometimes we just have better days and sometimes we have worse days and today feels like a day in between. That's fine. Guys, truly the issue is that every time I do a makeup tutorial, it always ends up looking the same. <laughs> At least I'm using different things today, you know? Let's curl the lashes. Little baby mascara. Nice. I'm gonna put on a little more chapstick. Spray my face. Fun fact, I have a mini fridge up in my bedroom, so now I keep my setting sprays in the little fridge. And when I say mini fridge, I'm talking like literally this big and it's plastic. A nice refresher. That's the makeup. I feel like it's a nice, I tried, but I didn't try too hard type of look. You can see little things still peeking out. We don't need a perfect canvas. Okay, I'm gonna bring my hair tools. We're just gonna stay here because I'm way too comfortable. If you guys can tell right now, my natural hair dries straighter than my extensions. My extensions have this beautiful, relaxed wave and the shorter hair just kind of falls straight. I'm gonna show you guys what I do to hide it because I don't wanna look like a fraud, even though I am one. Do you see that? Check it out. I'm gonna start off by just brushing my hair. I'm going to fix my middle parts. I'm just gonna use my eyebrow brush. <laughs> What I like to do is grab a hair straightener and just curl the ends of my natural hair with it. So all I'm going to do is just take a chunk, wrap it around my straightener, and just drag it down. Whoa, that lighting went crazy. And you'll be left with a cute little bouncy curl. I'm simply doing this just to add some movement to my hair to blend it in with my extensions. So I'm definitely not looking to have perfect curls here. I'm just gonna spray it down so that it stays. I'm using the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. This is my little to-go mini size. Hands down, the best setting spray for your hair. Technically texturizing, but as far as like hairspray goes and all that stuff, I love using this to lock in my hairstyles. Super lightweight, what just a few minutes can do. Let's do the other side. Let's spray down this side. Great. I'm gonna take a little clip like this. I love the tortoise shell. And I'm gonna clip some of my hair back. I'm gonna take this hair and just twist it once. Fasten this. 
How cute is that? Is it cute? Do we like it? I'm gonna pull a few little baby pieces out from the front. I'm gonna put on an outfit and come back to you guys. Welcome to my closet. I feel as though I should probably wear these to match my little tortoise shell hair clip, right? How cute are these? Let's try these on. Okay, cute. Should we do this groovy girl? It's got these holes that literally you can see through. Kind of cool. I'm kind of into this. I've literally never worn this shirt and I've owned it for maybe four years. It's kind of cute, kind of into it. Jewelry, funky. These little dangly daggers are fun. Cute. We've got our little sandals. These jeans are too long, so I am just folding them at the cuff. The jeans are high-waisted. And we've got this fun little boxy top, little scrunchy. This patent faux leather shoulder bag is from my line with Nordstrom, BP times Claudia Saluski. That is it for today's vlog style chit chat, get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the makeup and hair and outfits. Thank you so much to Orbe for working with me on this video. And if you guys once again want to try out their exfoliating scrub and thickening treatment spray, then be sure to just check out the links in the down bar. You can get them on orbay.com. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and I'll leave all my socials and stuff down there too. Bye.